co-sci today? A few, not many. All right, who rode a horse? One, okay. Who took a car, a bus, a truck, a van, or a helicopter? Oh, uh, there's one thing with a car, a bus, a truck, a van, and a helicopter all have in common, and that is the gadget that makes them go. What gadget makes all those different things go? The engine, that's right. Today we're going to be talking about the internal combustion engine. Now, I like the internal combustion engine because it gets us places using explosions. It's like a rolling explosion machine! Yes! That's right. As I'm talking about energy, first thing we have to do is we have to add some energy to our bowling ball. And just by lifting it off the ground, I'm adding an energy to it that's called potential energy. Energy that can be used to do something. We're going to go to the test. I want you to go ahead and I'll take all the bowling ball for it. Put your nose right up to there. Are you ready, Will? You ready, everybody? Yeah! Potential energy changed into kinetic energy back into potential. Back into kinetic. It's coming back, but don't worry, because Will is just fine. It's really, really cold. In fact, it is so cold! Thank you very much, adults. It is so cold! And it is no longer a gas at all. Instead, it has changed into... Ah, yes, a liquid. Very good. It's really cold. Which is why I have my goggles on, why I've got my gloves on, and why I certainly would never do anything as silly as spill all over my shoes! Now I'm okay. The reason I'm okay is because as soon as that stuff hits the ground, in fact, way before it's going to hit the ground, it's going to boil, that's right, boil, and change back into a gas. Now I know that that sounds weird because normally when you think of stuff boiling, you think of hot stuff. But boiling doesn't mean hot. It just means changing from a liquid into a gas. So right now, this stuff is a liquid. I want you guys to be as small as you can be. Be shrink, shrink down, be small, small, small. Right now, you're like liquid night, liquid nitrogen, nitrogen gas. Oops. 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 Right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to track this liquid nitrogen. Now we said the nitrogen is getting bigger, right? Is this bottle getting any bigger? No. That means that if I put a cork on the top of our bottle, then we're going to start building pressure. And that pressure is going to start pushing on our bottle, looking for the weak spot. Which just so happens to be the cork on the top. Let's try that one more time. Here we go. We're building pressure. Just like last time, our pressure is building some potential energy. water grab dust particles. Now folks, when I say this is going to be loud, I mean it's going to be very loud. Not the loudest thing we've ever heard indoors, including that Justin Bieber concert I saw you guys at last night. So I'm to put on the umbrella hat that you'll find waiting for you under your seats. <laughs> Those are never down there. I should really stop saying that. But don't worry. I came prepared. I've got an umbrella for you. Here you go. It's right over here. Here you are. We're going to help keep everybody dry for this, okay? Can you share? Can you share? Okay. chemical reaction started, we've got to give it some energy to get moving. To give it that energy, I'm going to poke it with a lit sparkler. That means I'm going to have my hands full, because I'm going to have to be wearing ear goggles and whatnot, so that means that you guys have to count extra loud so I can hear you through my ear goggles. Do we have a deal?
name for me three cars that start with P. Plymouth, Porsche, Prius. Yeah, but guys, those cars don't start with P. They start with gasoline. Piston, that's right. Now, normally in a real engine, we have an explosion inside here, and that would push our piston, and our piston would help push the wheels, because it's attached to a bunch of levers and gears and stuff. Ours are not attached to anything, which means they're probably just going to fly and hit me in the face, but that's okay. It wouldn't be the first time. Now, uh, last time we had a chemical, uh, a chemical change, we had to give it kind of a spark. Where do you get a spark from in an engine? Spark plug. A spark plug. Now, unfortunately, this does not have any spark plugs in it. So, instead of a spark plug, we're going to use this thing right here. It's called a Tesla coil. And as you can see, it will provide us with plenty of sparks. Now, um, ever since the incident, my boss has informed me to always, always wear a big, silly looking shiny helmet during the giant engine demonstration. So now would be a good time to put on your silly looking shiny helmets. Why aren't you putting on your shiny helmets? Well, I'll tell you what, I've done this demonstration two times, and almost every time the audience has been fine, so I don't think you're going to have too much to worry about. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you chemical change, Potent potential energy conversion, and explosions in one demonstration. Ladies and gentlemen, please cover your ears. Here we go. Thank you so much for coming. Have a